Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped, and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high-security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. I'm not surrendering my gun. Period. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Let's get on with this. Suppose escape attempts are minimal in number. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Inhumane. Unacceptable. Violation of basic organic dignity. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. That's the only thing people like him understand. We'll get through to him. Your package will be at out processing just down the hall. Hey! Hey guys! If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. 
Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offered someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. We're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's night. Yeah. Your package will be at out processing. side of the room. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison. But it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Take cover, medical. medical. Genetic spade. <laughs> that control, every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. Get down there. Morning. Morning. This looks interesting. Next. 
engaging target. Indeed. Shepard, the warden has locked down the warning. Power plant damage has led to overload. Core systems failed. This guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. Shows you what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't believe in everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people. Prisoners helpless. Guard had power. Perhaps abused it. Violence here could be retribution. <laughs>
You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader, and I don't have time for it. I do the hard things civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? My name is Shepard, and I'm here to get you off this ship. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I'm working with Cerberus for now because they can help me. With them? For them? I don't care. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? This ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety and we're asking for your help. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out.
Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. What's this area of the ship? Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, Think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything.
back and left to rot. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We'd better get moving. There is the Southern Axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! I know we're here. Bring it on! Zaid, I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted, old friend. 
burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I wanna know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. This isn't the time. We'll discuss this later. Once Vito's dead, we can discuss anything you want. Kill them! Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Vito gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! No! No!
We can use this. Twenty years ago. Look at you. I did you a favor. Zaid, please! I'm gonna die here, man! Do something! 
Try, you son of a bitch. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
Storm away. Boat launched. this area of the ship. came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Won't happen again, sir. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Will do, Commander.
pay. I picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? I ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You want to know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a king. I could help. We have to stop the Collectors. I don't have time for piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Sim I should go. Yep. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served up. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft.
How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. You were protecting galactic stability. I'm glad to see you were willing to do what was necessary. Indeed. Collectors doing horrific things may face hard choices. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a Relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. What led you to Cerberus? The Alliance sidelined me after Eden Prime. Ended up on a job with Miranda that Cerberus treated like an audition. And here I am. You don't seem like a results at all costs kind of guy. Cerberus history doesn't bother you? The Alliance is all politics. Somebody has to take down the bad people. Cerberus keeps that line, I'm on their side. You make no apologies for doing what you had to. I admire that. I couldn't go back to the Alliance, not after the cover-up. They did the same to you. General Public never knew you were dead or heard the real story of the Citadel. Did you know they used you on recruitment ads? You were the human ideal for like six months. Then they replaced you with a composite image they invented. Guess you didn't focus test right. You were actually the Alliance poster boy and they still dumped you. I don't like it, but I can see benefit in keeping some things from the public. Maybe. 
And Cerberus isn't exactly transparent, either. Where's an honest soldier go, Shepard? Right here? I guess so. Glad I'm not in your chair, though. Gonna be a rough ride. I should get back to work. Good talking to you, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything.